friends, I'm in my studio today, my home studio, and uh, I wanted to bring you a video. It's going to be short and sweet, but I know we love to order pastels, and sometimes, especially if you're beginning, we don't really know what they're like just from looking online or seeing um, pictures on the art sites like Dick Blick or Jerry's Artorama. Um, so when I get sets like this, I want to share kind of like my little um, review of what I think of them. Now, some of these I've had before, but some, some I haven't. So I'm going to go into my beautiful, colorful goodies I got. I know I don't need to encourage you guys to buy more pastels, and I am so sorry if I have created a habit. But you know what? It's Christmas time, so you might be able to get a gift of one of these. So anyway, let me share with you some of these beauties that I've just gotten and a couple of other products. All right, let's do it. All right, I've tried to set up my lighting so you can see these accurately with color. Um, and that's sometimes hard to do. A lot of times things don't look the same when you see them on your computer uh, or on a website. Um, but I think from what I looked at in my uh, video, I did a little sample. I think these colors look pretty good. This set here, I like this little half stick set. I often break my pastels anyway. And um, so sometimes if you're trying to be a little more economical, uh, just go ahead and get a half set, especially, or half stick set, especially if you've, um, you don't know that brand very well and you know, you don't want to go ahead and commit to the full sticks. But let me show you what these are here. These are the Richeson Soft Pastels, Jack Richeson. And um, I have never had these before and I, I haven't even done a painting with them, but I'm going to show you what I think about their hardness to softness ratio okay so this is the assorted set of 60 okay so there's a lot of colors in this set and uh, I can't recall the price I'll try to and you know prices change sometimes but I'll try to pull it up online and share it in the video so you can see um, what I paid for these and um, so let me uh, let me just show you this I have a little um this is just a little piece of sanded uh, paper that I was working with. This is a piece of Sennelier Le Carte card. You see I've done some scratching on it already. I was actually sharpening a pastel pencil there. But um, I'm finding that these, let me do a color that's not really on here. This is kind of like a pretty grassy green. I'm finding these aren't super, super soft. They're not hard by any means, but they're, they're, they're kind of nice. They, you can get kind of an edge on them, okay? They're not as soft as the next ones that I'm going to show you. I'm going to kind of show you in order of softness. But man, I love doing it on this dark so you can see it. So these are a nice um, soft but not too soft pastel, okay? And I really think I'm going to love them. I like having a variety of round versus square um, pastels. The Jack Richardson pastels are round. The next ones I'm showing you are round. Uh, but then I have a, a square, a rectangular one I'm going to show you. And if you guys, a lot of you are familiar with the Terry Ludwigs. I always said Ludwig. I'm not sure if it's Ludwig or Ludwig. But those are square. They're big, chunky, squared um, pastels. And there's advantages to the round versus the square. The round ones, you can, um, let me get a different color. It's another green. You can roll them to kind of make grasses and things. They're nice for, for rolling, okay? Um, with the square ones, the flat edges are good. For covering a lot of area okay so um, that's an advantage to round versus square another one's uh, a, a brand that's round is the Mount Visions um, if you haven't seen the video go back and see the one where I toured their facility it's right here in Tampa and um, it was fascinating to see how pastels are made it was awesome and at the very end of that video I share some of the good sets I would recommend Mount Vision as a good starter set of pastels because they're I always say like Goldilocks um, she wanted a bed that wasn't too hard or wasn't too soft. That's how those pastels are. They're a great in-between pastel. So check out, I'll try to put a link to the Mount Vision video here. So if you're a beginner and you want a good set to start with, those are good. But these look like they'd be a great beginner set too. Because again, they're not too awfully soft and they're good for multiple purposes. So I love these colors too. Oh my goodness, I opened it up and I, I literally just stood there and stared at them for a while. They're just absolutely beautiful. And I like that they have some nice bold, you guys know I love punchy colors, but at the same time you need some good neutrals to balance a painting out and it does have these nice neutrals here. So thumbs up to the Jack Richardson Soft Pastels Half Stick Assorted Set of 60. Loving it. 
they look awesome I can't wait to paint with these oh my goodness okay and now I had actually forgotten how much I love Sennelier pastels okay these are these are soft and beautiful let me get out my little card again here um, this is the plein air landscape set okay and the colors are gorgeous now this is also a this one is a no this one is not a half stick half, yeah it is half pastels gosh I didn't I, I don't think I've ever bought their full pastels because that's a pretty big half pastel isn't it so this is the 80 landscape half pastel set okay shown actual size <laughs> um, and it's Sennelier it's a French word I used to butcher that word oh it's funny I see um, I see right here this painting on this set the last name is McDaniel I just happened to notice that and that's gonna be the next set that I show you is Richard McDaniel let me see if his signature is the same on here he doesn't have a signature on any of these but I'm sure that's probably the same artist one of his paintings on this landscape set so let's take a look at some of these again I love the round pastels I think they're awesome and um, these oh, they just go on so great and I think one of the reasons I love them is because I happen to love um, Sennelier paper okay and that's what I got another uh, pack of this paper actually this is my large one let me show you my small one this is the Sennelier Le Carte pastel card the reason it's called card instead of paper is because it's pretty thick okay um, this size is the um, 30 by 40 centimeters okay and it's, it's pretty large I usually take these and cut them up um, but they have another pad right here that I just got that I like this size okay it's 24 by 32 centimeters okay so it's really got the same selection as the large pad and it's got some black some kind of sand colored I love that um, gray green bluish color and uh, some various other warm colors but back to my point these pastels by the same company work so great on the Sennelier Le Carte pastel card um, again let me grab something that's really going to show up great on here uh, I've done some greens let me get like this uh, orangey color here a reddish just kind of a reddish orange color here okay and uh, oh my gosh the color is so vibrant they're soft they're very soft but they're still controllable okay they just make these nice marks on here oh I love it love it love it love it and again that was a pastel pencil I was sharpening on here okay but you can already see how those uh, Jack Richardson's were um, uh, harder for making grasses like that let's see how this one does with uh, rolling it around I'll just roll it kind of right here yeah they they make good uh, good line, um, mark making lines and everything too so so these uh, these roundy guys are awesome too um, so and the thing I love about this is it also has some nice neutrals look they have the neutrals on the side just like the Jack Richardson did they got some other neutrals you know kind of uh, throughout here but most of the neutrals are gonna be here your grays and your tans and stuff um, but it's an awesome set I absolutely love Sennelier pastels okay so let me show you this other set I actually did a box opening for this next set that uh, I've used some now I actually used these and what they are hang on, to do the last painting I did of the dog portrait you may have seen the uh, the portrait that I did of um, our group moderator for our Facebook group Monet Cafe art group her name's Katrina and her sweet dog karma passed away and I wanted to do something um, just special for her so I did a portrait of her dog karma and uh, I did use some of these for that painting and I love them okay oh I did notice this this uh, signature McDaniel here it is the same painting as as this McDaniel painting okay and I do that maybe that's why I like both of these uh, assortments because I like the color choices that he uses so this is the great American artworks Richard McDaniel plein air gallery assortment okay and again these are square the other two you saw were round and these are square like Terry Ludwig's Ludwig's and um, they're not as as thick as as they are but um but I like them a lot now they are pretty darn soft they are very good for your final work the, the Sennelier's are too um, but let me use a like a totally different color here let me do something lighter 
Okay, and these still have the labels on them. Oh, and I wanted to show you real quick. That's a cute name. I love some of these names. Cindy Winkle. <laughs> That's really cool. Um, but I wanted to show you something that I did. I think I showed it. Pardon me for walking in front of the camera in the other video. It's really helpful to have a reference sheet for your pastels. If you run out, you get online, you try to find the color you ran out of, and you can't remember the, the number of it, and it doesn't look the same online, and you're like, but I need this color, and I've already taken the label off. Well, you know, because I'm going to take all these labels off as I use them. Um, it's great. Um, Terry Ludwig Pastels has a sheet that comes with it with all the numbers on it. And you just make a mark by it with your pastel. So you can always go back and know the number of that color. These did not come with that. So I took a picture of this box. I printed the picture out. And because sometimes printers and colors look different, I didn't just rely on the picture, although it was pretty close. I took each pastel and made a little mark on the left-hand side of all these. So some of them are kind of different, but um, so that if I need to reorder a color, there it is right there, okay? So if you get a box of pastels and they don't have um, that nice reference sheet for you to mark on, just take a picture of the open box and then you can make it yourself. So then I just, I save these, you know, so I can refer to them later. Okay, so, and I got a few extras of, of these of different colors. But um, again, so this one was the Great American Artworks 78 Handmade Soft Pastels Richard McDaniels Plein Air Gallery Assortment. Oh, and I didn't make a mark on this paper with this one, did I? I can't even remember. Well, let me do it again. Let me do a yellow because I haven't done one of those yet. And again, these are, these are soft and nice. Yeah, I like that. Beautiful, beautiful pastels. And I also liked with this set... Um, Sometimes you, you know, don't know why they're arranged the way they are. It's just how the artist wants them arranged, if it's a, a set that's from a particular artist. And um, this one I happen to like that it was arranged according to color and value. You know, it's really easy to go find very quickly. I want a dark orange. Boom. You got all of your orangey uh, yellows and yellows over here. You got your warm greens next to your yellows. And then they gradually go um, to cooler greens down here. So it's really nicely arranged. So I just love that. So anyway, that's just a little bit about some of the new pastels that I got. I hope that helps. Again, check out Mount Vision. I'd like to recommend those as a starter set. Any of these would work. But these are, these are so soft that it's really good to have um, some other medium pastels. Rembrandt's are another. That's one of the first pastel sets that I got was Rembrandt's. And... Um, they're, uh, they're harder. They're not as hard as new pastels, but they're, they're, I'd say they fall, if the scale was hard to soft here, um, Rembrandt's are going to be more like right in here, okay? Mount Visions are a little softer, and then you just keep getting softer like some of these that we've done here, okay? So Rembrandt's is another good, uh, just a medium to uh, medium softer to hard pastel. You get it. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and um, learned something from it. And I know I'm probably going to make you guys buy more pastels, but hey, it's Christmas time right now when I'm making this video. So get your honey and get you some of these pastels and happy, happy painting. Paint